Talent manager Scooter Braun could be losing several top-tier clients. Billboard reports Demi Lovato is leaving Braun's company, SB Projects. And they say Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande could be next. But the artist declined to comment. Braun is credited with discovering Justin Bieber. More recently, he's been criticized for buying and then selling Taylor Swift's music catalog against her wishes. For more, let's bring in Julie Gerstein. She's executive editor of the Life Division at Insider. So let's start with Scooter Braun and his reputation in the industry. Yeah, Scooter has um, quite a reputation in the industry, uh, one for being extremely powerful and effective. Um, obviously, as a manager, he is managing some of the most high profile artists um, in the world, um, you know, Lovato, um, Ariana Grande, and um, Bieber, to name a few. But uh, he also has a reputation for being extremely ruthless and very ego driven. Um, I think the Taylor Swift catalog uh, story is is a really great example of that. Um, you know, he purchased her back catalog in 2019 and then sold it for $300 million against her wishes. And we've obviously seen in recent years, she has been releasing her music again um, in response to that. And so um, he, he doesn't seem to really... You know, it sounds. Care. Let me. Yeah. Let me just jump in. It sounds like he maybe doesn't have a lot of respect for these artists at the end of the day, and that's why they're abandoning him. I I, I think that you know in recent years he recently uh, his company was acquired by a company a Korean company called Hive uh, in uh, in 2021, and he took on the role of CEO of that company, and so he there's speculation that he's really stepped back from the day-to-day -day of managing these clients. And so in some ways they are not getting, they, they feel that they're not getting what they paid for in having him as a manager um, and that he's having his, you know, his, his underlings or associates take care of their, of their management. Um, and, and, and so there is a lot of question around what's actually happening there. Um, but, you know, I think, he also has a reputation for really getting things done with these clients. I mean, he took he took Justin Bieber from a 13-year-old, you know, child to mm -hmm. a superstar. I'm I'm Canadian, so I remember that whole thing, like how he was discovered uh, and all of that. So it sounds to me like it's not so much a lack of respect or the ego, but maybe he's the team's not as effective as it was in the past. So sort of big picture and bottom line, why does this matter for the music industry? Well, I think it matters because there's obviously a lot of money involved here um, with these artists and um, a lot of um, potential, you know, uh, resources moving around when it comes to with when it comes to artists that are making this much money. So, you know, as of right now, it's unclear what this really means in terms of will these artists be moving to other managers? Will they be just moving within the company? Um, you know, it's said that in some cases, these artists are trying to break contracts. In some cases, they're going to stay within, within his company, but move to other people. Um, mm. So it, it's really, it's not clear yet. Um, and it's also unclear, like, where some of this is coming from, if, if this is simply because his priorities have shifted or if there's if it's because there's some other bigger situation. something. So, yeah, sure. Going on just real quick in the final few seconds, you know, he was tweeting, I think I'm no longer managing myself. He was kind of sending up the whole situation. What does that say about him? Well, he's on vacation right now. It's it, He's been posting Instagram photos from a vacation he's on with Usher, so he doesn't seem to be that bothered. Well, time will tell, as they like to say. Julie Gerstein, thanks for your analysis. Thank you.